okay, hon? Hi, Mom. Mm hmm If I let Jim die, is that the same thing as killing him? Honey, Jim's already dead. Have you ever had that that gut feeling, that that premonition that's kept you from doing something or made you oh, think twice about it? All the time. Everyone has gut feelings. Everyone has gut feelings, and usually they write them off because they think it's not the right thing to do. I need to do. I I I listen to them pretty much. Anything so dramatic where you didn't get on an airplane or you didn't? Oh yeah. Take this oh yeah. I said or... I don't I don't want to do it, and I used to force myself to do it, and it wasn't. It, it wouldn't be any. I mean, sometimes it was something pretty dark, and you know, but other times it was just silly little stuff. And I go, you know what? If it's there for a reason, listen to it. I've had a few of those feelings, you know, and then I've gone, eh, you gotta go, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like most of us. Eh, you gotta go because whatever reasons, and you just go and you do it, and touch wood, everything ends up okay. I've definitely had, you know, sensations and feelings where I could feel in my body something was going on. Anything so strong where you, like, didn't get on an airplane or, you know, didn't get behind the wheel of your car because you're just like, something bad. Um, I had a feeling before my mom got sick that something bad was coming. Oh. Really, really bad was coming. How do you react when you felt that way and you're kind of waiting for that other shoe to drop? You know, I never had it before then that I can remember and once that, since then, it's always kind of freaked me out because it was so strong. I had it, it's so, uh, it was so, so strong and then something really, really did happen. Um, that it's kind of, uh, so now it gets a little scary when I get those feelings. You don't remember? No. I've never met you before in my life. You have all my sympathies and your girls. Who are you? Please don't. Do you believe in sort of that everything's sort of predestined and locked into stone, or do you believe that you can kind of take control at some point and change the way things? I think it's headed? both. I think I think I don't think it's that easily explained into black and white. I mean, I look back at my life and I go, wow, if X, Y, and Z hadn't happened, the horrible X, Y, and Z hadn't happened. I wouldn't be in this position right now or, you know, in a place of joy or, you know, it's, I, I look back and I see the rhyme and reason to my life, um, but I also know that I looked at those situations, learned and changed maybe a way that I did things or approached things and to try and better things. I believe in fate to a certain extent, but I also believe in the ability to take different paths and make different choices, so obviously that's going to change it a little bit, but I think it's cut out for us a little, in some kind of way.